Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry for the bad quality today because we're shoot- My freaking light just died. <laughs> okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kate, I own a boutique, and today we're gonna be talking about inventory. You wanna be in my video? <laughs> this is Emma. Hi. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have my light, but it's fine. I'm filming on the cinematic feature of the amazing iPhone. 30, whatever we're on. Um, so we're inspecting clothes today and I am gonna show you guys the process of when we get in like a box, like from start to finish, what exactly we do from the time it comes in from the vendor um, until we literally put it up on our website and put it out on our floor. So uh, Emma's working on a box right now, but I am gonna open a brand new box in the back room um, and show you guys this process from start to finish. All right. We have got a box, so um, today we got in a few boxes. We typically get like, we don't get like pallets or anything like that. I feel like we're not that big. Um, I've gotten them in the past, but typically we'll just get like a few boxes um, every few days or like on like today we got a few boxes in one day. And so it just kind of depends on the time of year and the day of the week and all that kind of stuff. So we did get in five boxes today. Some of them are like double this size um but this is like probably a typical one for um just kind of like a smaller order for us so we are going to unbox it and i'm going to show you exactly the process of what we do from how it gets in this box from how it goes onto the website and onto our sales floor first thing i am going to do is just get the invoice out of the box so um, if you're new to getting orders and stuff, the invoice is always gonna be like in like a thing on the outside of the box. Unless it comes from like a smaller company or something like that, they might do it um, kind of in just put it inside. But anyways, okay, so this box is from the vendor Storia. Um, definitely not one of like the vendors we buy from like too, too often, but it definitely has some like fancier things in here. Um, so on the invoice, it's going to tell you like, what you got, the style number, um, how many you got, what, uh, how, yeah, how many you got, what the price was for it, and then um, like what the total amount is what were for each piece, and then at the bottom what your total amount is that you paid. The invoice is really important to us because we do have a very specific and detailed way of how we enter everything into our system, and I'll explain why. Um, along the way of why we do what we do. But basically my mom used to be a corporate accountant for like a big company. And so that was her job for a long time. So she's very like detail orient oriented when it comes to numbers and things like that, which is obviously really important when you're getting your inventory in. So um, without further ado, let's open up this box. Um, make sure you have a box cutter. I like box, box cutters way better than scissors. Um, just so much easier. This one is called Slice. I actually don't know if I have this one linked up on my Amazon store, but I should because at first we were just using like a utility knife for um, boxes, like ones that you would buy at like Home Depot or something. But uh, actually when we moved into the storefront, Louis Vuitton used to be here and they left like a whole bunch of like random office supplies and they left these. And I we really like these because they're very like safe. Oh my God. Wait until you guys see this dress. Oh, this is like the most exciting part is opening boxes. Um, oh my gosh. There's actually only two styles in this box and I did purposely pick like a smaller box for you guys so I can show you like the details of literally everything that I do. Okay, it's gonna get loud so I'm gonna speed this part up but I'm gonna unbox one of the dresses cause I just cannot wait to see it. Look at how cute. Okay, the fact that I don't have a light back here and that I am just shooting on my phone is really unfortunate because I feel like it does not do this dress justice. But look at how pretty this is. I also have this on like the cinematic mode, so hopefully it will get the details of how pretty this is. I feel like this would be so cute for like a birthday dress or something like that. It is very girly, very dainty. So um, I feel like it's one of those things where it might not be everybody's style, but um, I absolutely love it. This is something I would definitely wear on like a trip or my birthday or something like that. Um, so usually because I'm so excited and let like, especially when we just have like a small box like this, I'll just like unbox like my size in both. Okay, this is another one that's definitely very 
very girly, very dainty. Um, oh, she's so cute though. Like look at the sleeves and then look at like the detail up here, it kind of crosses. And then in the back, it's got like a little lace up detail. So it's like adjustable. Um, and then it also has a zipper around the waist as well. This is a maxi dress. Um, okay, so like I said, there's only two styles in this box, but there is 12 of each. So there's 24 pieces that we need to go through um, and do our little um, routine with. So the first thing that we're gonna do is basically go through and inspect them all. Um, I feel like a lot of people inspect cl like clothing items when they come in from vendors, but I also feel like not enough people do, especially if you're a smaller clothing boutique, like you don't want to be sending out items that are damaged from your vendor. And trust me, especially if they're like white t-shirts or something like that, like there's a good chance that there's like, there could be a stain on them um, or a hole or something like that. So we look at every single piece every single piece that comes in to our store, we look at and make sure that there are absolutely no tears, rips, stains. Um, we make sure that um, the size matches up to like what's inside and what's up here. So when I'm inspecting, I'm basically looking at all the seams, testing the zippers, testing the buttons and stuff like that. Um, I know this is like kind of controversial when it comes to some other boutiques, like um, really, really big online boutiques, especially, um, probably don't do this. In fact, I know that there's no way that they do this. Um, they do like uh, quality inspections like on maybe like a little um, portion of each box that they get in, whereas I'm just getting like 12 of each item um, typically. So I have time and like the resources to do that. But with like bigger boutiques, a lot of the times they'll just take it like this from the vendor and like they'll put it in their bin where they keep it in their warehouse and then when someone orders it, they'll just throw it in there. So I see both sides of it for sure. Like if I was in that situation and like, you know, you're just like flipping clothes like crazy, obviously like that is like the more efficient way to do things because the money that you would be um, paying someone to go and inspect all these products and the time kind of like wasted to inspect all the products probably would be more time and money than it would be to um, get your money back from the vendor. So that is just kind of what we, uh, this is just kind of what we do. So like I said, I just wanted to show you what we do. So the first thing is just going through and inspecting every single item. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also take off any vendor tags that come on, um, which is super annoying when they come on with like, a little, um, what are these called, clothespin, because it's like so redundant to like shake off, you can't just like rip it or like cut it off. But we like to do, this is interesting, there's like an acrylic zipper on this. You see that? Um, but anyway, we don't really like the vendor's tags to be on it, um, just because like I feel like you have the vendor tag and then you have our tag, and I just don't want customers to be confused if they look at that tag and like, they don't see a, price tag or anything like that. Um, so I just tested the zipper. I'm just kind of looking at the sleeves to make sure like the elastic in there isn't gonna break. Um, looking at, like if I see, like I see a string in here. So I'm just making sure that like the string isn't something that's gonna cause any issues. Um, and then I'm kind of just checking the seams, looking at it front and back to make sure there's no obvious stains on it. And then um, there's like the lining. So I just kind of take a peek at that. So that's, I mean, it took me maybe like 30 seconds to do a little dress. I do not maxi dresses and, and like jumpsuits definitely take a lot longer. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go through all these super quick. Okay, so when I'm inspecting and all of our employees do this at the store. So um, a lot of the times I'll, um, give them like the product and then just they'll just kind of do it as they're out on the sales floor and so in between customers they can kind of go through it and everything like that um as long as they don't make too big of a mess out there i'm totally fine with them doing it um but anyways every um time that we inspect we also um make sure that you get what you ordered so a making sure that the um style numbers mat on the dress match up to what is on the invoice um, also making sure that if in this case we have six smalls, four mediums and two larges, making sure that in each of those pack sizes or like in each of those um, styles, that is what we have. So when I go through and I inspect everything, um, especially these right now, I'm just like folding them. I probably will hang them up typically 
we'll get two packs of things. So what we'll do is we'll hang up six of them on wooden hangers and six of them on velvet hangers for right now, especially for these shorter ones. I'm just going through them quick. But anyway, um, you'll see when I hang them up later and when I do the maxis, I'm going to hang those up, but I'll make like a little pile. So like small, medium. And then at the end I can go through when I'm done actually like inspecting the product. I can go through and make sure that we did in fact receive 12 of each item and that there are six smalls, four mediums, and two larges of each item. This right here is one of my biggest pet peeves about the fashion industry. Like, did we really need all this plastic for 24 pieces of clothing? No, no. Okay, so I hung them all up right here. And so I did make sure that the quantities were correct. And now I am going to take a large in both styles and we're gonna weigh them. Okay, so the reason why we are going to be weighing a large and just the size large is just because it's our heaviest um, size. So if we have an extra large or a 1X or something, we don't really carry plus, but um, if we have an extra large, that would be the highest um, weight of that item. So the reason why we do this is because when in Shopify, you can put in weights for each individual um, size variant, but we just do one for all of them. And the only time we ever use weight is for returns um, because if they're like returning something back and we have to make a pre a prepaid label, um, we are able to just give them a prepaid label and then they um, bring it back to us um, using that label. The label needs to be the correct um, weight based on the product that they are returning. So that's why we do that um, as far as using the weight when we pack orders um we do sometimes use that and it's like spot on but we usually do weigh our orders before they go out just because like um we just want to make sure that we're getting like the cheapest rate possible so like um if things just like end up weighing a little bit like less in the package than like our recorded um we just want to make sure we're not like overpaying for our shipping label i'm going to take our invoice and on this line item i'm going to check off that we got all of the sizes in it um i'm also going to initial at the top let me show you guys at the top i'm checking off that we got these items sorry if it's like a little bit blurry but it's on the cinematic and i also don't want to show you guys like any private information but i'm checking off that we got each like the sizes and i'm going to write the weight for this um particular dress which is 12.4 ounces um then i will write the material right here however this vendor was nice enough to put it on here for us so we need to write the weight and the material i explained why we do the weight and then for the uh, material this is just so that the person that is entering them into shopify knows um that it's 100 polyester and that's so we can tell the customers so now the inspection process is officially complete and usually i'll put like um six like too small to medium too large on these wooden hangers and then six on like a crappy hanger like that to keep it in the back but um these we just have so many wooden extra wooden hangers right now this isn't even like a portion of it um so i'm just gonna keep these here until we tag them okay so now that i have the invoice completed um whoever does this like any of our staff can do this we then hand it to summer <laughs> She can't talk right now because she lost her voice. So I will talk for her. But my mom has, without me showing you like all the details, she has this crazy spreadsheet. So, <laughs> it's so funny because you're like a mime. So <laughs> this spreadsheet is the most insane thing in the whole entire world, but she always makes sure that we have a 60% margin, which is the main reason like we make sure we put in all of the shipping costs, all of the, like all of the costs related to the product. And so we come out with a 60% margin on each item. Um, and then then once summer kind of like get puts it all through the spreadsheet then she comes to me and she's like okay this is a 60 percent margin and we'll make um basically adjustments on the price from there if we absolutely need to and then as soon as she's done entering it into the spreadsheet um she'll put it into shopify so summer uh puts it in shopify with the cost um the material the weights and then also she names it um so i finally don't have to name products anymore after five years um i was really running out of ideas so now she can come up with her own ideas 
<laughs> so anyways, um, that is how we put everything into Shopify. From there, I'll go in and I'll add the description and the pictures um, and then like launch the new arrivals. But I did make a video on how t how we launched the new arrivals and my entire, um, okay, it's loud. <laughs> Okay, sorry, it was loud because like customers were back there. But anyways, I did make a video um, the one time about how I launched new arrivals and my whole process for that. So that is where that comes, that's like the next step. Um, oh, also I didn't talk about tagging, but um, when we go to tag an item, so after she adds it to Shopify with the name and the price, that's why she does that. And then we could immediately tag it without it having to be online or anything. So she'll print out the um, tags on Shopify and then um, we have a diamond label printer, they print out. Um, we have business cards that I order from Vista Print that just say Vogue Society. They're like the most basic, biz rounded edge business card that you can get. Try to get rounded edges or else they could like poke into your clothes. But um, yeah, so if you get business cards, from Visa Print, you can actually just use them as clothing tags. It's really, really cheap to do it that way. And then we just put the barcodes on the tags, use a tagging gun, and that's that. Okay, again, I'm really sorry that this video wasn't like the best quality. I just feel like I really want to get this video out to you guys and I felt like it would be like pretty helpful. I feel like even though we have like a great process and like we've been doing the same thing for a while, I would love to see the behind the scenes of other people's like processes and how they do things. Um, so I feel like you could apply these whether you're like a big boutique or a small boutique because we've been doing this for years like in it whether we've been in a storefront or online or in our bedroom or whatever it was we've been doing the same thing for a while so um that is that oh, i guess that's all i have to say and i will be sure to make another video soon bye guys